<laughs> Jody, you realize, man, you've been telling that whole alligator story completely wrong, bro. We was down there hunting gators, that's true, but it wasn't no Scottish dude that come out of the water, man. It was like freaking Bigfoot. No, man, that wasn't Bigfoot. I'm telling you, the dude had a freaking skirt. Nah, <laughs> bruh. It was Bigfoot. He was all hairy and tall and smelly. I mean, he had that one gator in his arms, bruh. Listen here, Tony. I'm the one telling the story. I'm the one that want to hear. They don't want to hear you. So why don't you just pit a line off and let me get up to my video? Fine, bruh. But, hey, man, you're taking on Simon Dan. So good luck on this one, bruh. Later, peeps. I'm gonna pass it off to Tony. What's going on, everybody? Check out my new intro picture. Isn't that awesome? I dig it. So, today, finally breaking down, and I'm gonna do this Simon Dan video that everybody's been asking. I know you may be going, hey, Hammer, how come you can say Simon Dan, but you can't say logistical troglophyte? Well, right there explains it to you. So sit back, relax, we're gonna go over Simon Dan's most popular, like 2.4 million views. Let's take a look at this thing. He comes from under the mountain, seeking out new stupidity to drop the hammer upon. The Globers, those are his next victims. He will prove once and for all that the earth is flat. What the hell's a flurf? All right, here we go. Let's take a look. I bet you've never seen a bet. Ah, oh, crap. Another British. Jay! Why don't you ever give me an American? Where that boy does his shit on purpose. A scientific experiment than this. <laughs> What's this guy getting at? Anybody know? Okay, so he can swing a gate. Come on, Dan, pipe in with something. Hello, all, and welcome along. My name is Simon Dan, and I am back with more flatter. Well, obviously, you're Simon Dan, or I wouldn't be here. Friday Frolics. Today we're responding to a YouTube channel called John Smith Globe Live. They are normally all about activism on the streets, but in this particular video, a guy called Chris apparently exposes the Globe Live. It's not that hard. All you gotta do is look outside. It'll tell you. Look out on the horizon, and it's flat. So, oh, wait a minute. Isn't Simon Dan? Isn't he the one that Painter Walk said that he doesn't got no legs? I can see why they think and see that because he look. All you see is chest and arms and that. What is that? Like a. What is that? Like a lima bean with ears? Is that supposed to be his head? He ain't even got no facial hair. And call himself Simon Man. Man. Look at it. He's got globe in the back. This is going to be interesting. 210,000 subs. Holy crap. This is going to be interesting. I'm intrigued. Let's see what he's got. Two cameras. Yeah, you can see it right there on the screen. Come on, Dan. Give us something. He's got a turntable. Uh, I thought those were called Lazy Susans. Anyways, come on, man. This is... <sighs> How does everybody like this guy? He's kind of boring. He's just stating the obvious. Now listen. Came to Simon Dan because everybody told me, Hey Hammer, you need to do a Simon Dan video. So here I am. What all? It's... Is this going to be the whole thing? Just boring watching other people's videos? Not commenting on nothing in particular? 
And how does this one got 2.4 million views? Because we're a minute in and I'm about to fall asleep. He's got a toy airplane. He just keeps stating the obvious. You already seen this part. Get on with it. And he's got a gate. And there we go. Stating the obvious again. Well, don't know about you, but I'm convinced. I'm off for a pint. Go for a pint. A couple dozen. <laughs> I need a beer after this one. Two hours later. He still ain't back. Oh, there he is. Wait a minute. See, when people go, they see that right there is proof he's got legs. No, because I seen this dude get up out this wheelchair one time with just lifting his arms. He's like, and you can see his his torso doesn't mean he got no legs. I still don't think he's got no legs, but I ain't seen no proof yet. Come on, Dan. Get on with it, Mr. I'm taking two hours to drink a pint. I can drink a pint in like three seconds. Sorry, he had more. Apologies. Continue. God, this guy just keeps swinging the freaking fence back and forth. So we've got here the North Pole. Ah, oh, crap, he's British too. I swear to God, if I do another British video, I'm gonna choke somebody. Which is there on the ball. Then we've got Oz in Great Britain. Which is here on the ball. Then we've got Florida on the ball further down. That's not Florida, that's a line on this guy's dumb. South America here, the tip of top of South America, and then the equator. They're all rotational planes around the ball. Right, I'm hundred percent with you. I'm not. This guy ain't making no sense either. So as we move, using the sense North Pole pivot around that as a pivot, we all move at different speeds in space if we live on a ball. And we should see the sky move at different speeds, dependent on where you are on this spinning ball. And if the stars look a single star moves at the same speed from Earth, then stars are moving. Ah, oh, this guy's boring. Let's see, I'm on, where's, where's, and I got fidget spinner around here, so keep me occupied, because this video is boring, Dan. Three minutes, exactly, three minutes in, and you said like three words, and just stating the obvious. How did you get two point million views on a boring video? <sighs> if they're moving faster for other people on the ball, the earth is moving. But they don't see that. The stars all move at the same one star moves at the same speed for everybody. Does it? The stars all appear to rotate around us once in a twenty four hour period. That's three hundred and sixty degrees in that time, which means fifteen degrees per hour. However, to an observer here on Earth, they appear to move at different speeds. Polaris barely moves at all, but Rigel, which in wintertime is near the horizon, appears to move much faster. Huh? It sounds like a whole bunch of gibberish. 15 degrees per hour, 360 degree rotation. You're just using your math again, Mr. Math Magician. See? Math, not science. Can't use math to prove the globe. Listen, stars in the spinny sky because you're on a disc, right? So up in the air, up in your noodle there, it, it spins around the dome. We're not spinning. We don't move. Because if we move, if I jumped up in the air, I'd land somewhere else. But I don't. I land right exactly where I jumped from. I go up and back down in the same spot. Earth doesn't spin. That's the point. 
This guy ain't got no point. That end's moving slowly. This end's going like a jet. Like a jet? Wow, that is fast. You must have pulled that gate pretty hard, buddy. On a ball, spinning round. Doesn't work. We don't see that. We're not on a ball. The stars are spinning round us, and we're not moving. This experiment proves the concept. Use your garden gate, stick a couple of mobile phones on it, and move it yourself, and work it out yourself. Look at the globe they give you, and then do it, the experiment yourself. No. No, this guy's dumb. This, come on, Dan. Say something, man. 80 degrees in 12 hours, then tell me how fast it's moving, because that is the speed we need to concern ourselves with. It would okay, wait a minute. How fast? Degrees in 12 Spin that gate, and you'll see. How about you make that gate move 180 degrees in 12 hours, then tell me how fast it's moving, because that is the speed we need to concern ourselves with. Prove it. Prove it. Citation needed. <sighs> ah, man. Globe. All kinds of... <clears throat> it would take him, what, at least half a day, wouldn't it? Not very fast at all, and that's what we experienced. Genius. Okay, we're not going to do this one anymore. Let's skip to a different video because this one is boring. Hey, look, I found a different video. This is supposed to be the 25 million view special to Sai Ham Dan Roast. So, let's see what we got. Hey, look, he's got a new background. He, oh, see, he got smart. See, even Globers can get smart once in a while because in his earlier video, he was sitting with his back to this bright ass light. I didn't say nothing before because, you know, Clover's got a little intelligence. You don't want to upset him too much. But we're going to continue on. He got fake dinosaur in the back back there. Who is that? I can't even read it. Our superhero. Who's a superhero? I don't know. Look at that. He's got a little picture up in the background. What is that supposed to be? Some kind of noob nubula? Nebula? Nebula? Let's see what this one is. Last week, this channel passed a tremendous milestone. 25 million total views. Still ain't got no legs. I am absolutely blown away by this. So first things first, I want to thank all of you for watching. I would obviously be nothing without your continued viewership. Which just boggles my mind because this dude is boring as hell. <sighs> boring. And see, I, it was the first time I've had to jump to another video because the first one was I was falling asleep. Had to get up, run around, do a couple laps, drink a couple pants. Maybe we'll get something. I thought we'd do something a little different to celebrate this occasion. So I put it out to all you guys on a couple of polls. And the joint poll winner was Giant Collaboration and Simon Dan Roast. So I thought we'd combine both and do them at the same time. The Did you get a bunch of flares? Because I want to know what a flurf is. Nobody will tell me what a flurf is. So I hope you got some flurfs. Because I, I really want to see a flurf. Globe Defending Community has come out in earnest. And I'm almost... Oh, Globers, man. man. Just afraid to see what they've come up with. So, without further ado, this is the Simon Ham... You can't say roast me and then hashtag be gentle. That's, that's not how a roast works. I mean, watch Jay's roast. His 400 sub roast, that was freaking hilarious. Them people was freaking brutal. Roast. First up is good channel friend and SEAL Team 6 second in command, Conspiracy Cats. Now, I'm not listening to Baldy Cats. He probably ain't got crap to say. We already covered Baldy Cats. It's, who's next? Okay, so he's gone for my height, and he's gone down the boring video route. That's yeah, cause they're boring. It's a fair one. Solid start, good roast. Next up we have Fight the Flat Earth who wants to get involved in the roast. Uh, Come on and fight, let's see what you've got. Ali's comment for example. The limey bastard. He's gonna do his, let's, let's see if he does his little, he's gonna do that little school thing. Let's, let's check this out. Right, Mr. Mandan, we don't expect to see you in the remedial classroom. Haley's Comet was last seen in 1986. Halbop was first discovered in 1995. Don't be an idiot. 
Didn't you hold an introduction to astronomy lecture? God, you're a worse teacher than conspiracy cats. Oof. <laughs> now that one was good. I like that one. <laughs> Guess the body cat is supposed to be a teacher too. But it's kind of weird coming from M Mr. Limey Bastard there with his little jokey joke. So, who's next? Who's next? Who's oh, it's that creaky blender dude. I know exactly what a voice is. I'm not that stupid. Yeah, you are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I did a video on you. You're dumb as brick. Keep going. Let's let's see if the dumb that comes out your mouth. Uh, bye. Simon Dan, I have some questions. We all got questions, but he's too boring and won't answer them. <laughs> Why do you film all your videos in IKEA? And <laughs> IKEA, that sort of stuff is really hard to put together. You ever tried to put one of them IKEA furnitures together? It took me like nine days to put together this freaking cabinet thing. That was only like two foot tall. It was ridiculous. I had to go ask freaking. I had to go get Tony and he, because you know he's just under four foot tall. So he could hold this up, you know, because I'm just a little bit over four foot tall because I'm taller because I'm the better dwarf than Tony is. But anyway, so we're putting this thing together and I lost that little Allen thing that wrenched the, the little L thing. It was a hell of a time. You know what we had to do? We had to go in, down in, and we, uh, where was I going? Oh, back to the roast. Never mind. Who cares about what Creaky got to say? I already talked to him. Oh, who's this guy? Mr. Way. Hi, Dan. Casual Spaceman here. M <sighs> What's with all the people that don't speak real English? Casual Spaceman. I'm gonna have to look in the. I don't know, huh? Thank you, Mr. Spaceman. Are gonna be coming up next. You talk, start talking stupid. Many congratulations on reaching 25 million views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic number to achieve. But I'm not sure that common sense is one of your strong points because running a marathon and then doing a 10k a week later and then becoming ill, hardly surprising. Not one of your best points. But again, many congratulations. Hope to see it at 50 million. You call that a roast? That was, oh good lord. These don't get any better, do they? I don't want to hear Dan talk. Who the, oh, that's that Mick Cooney dude. He's boring. Wait a minute, was that a picture of Dan with legs? Water for months. Big deal, when you have no legs in NASA technology. See, proof, look, McToon proved it. Look, this fake legs. I knew it. I knew Dan ain't got no legs. I knew he ain't got no legs. I like Mr. Toon. A little boring like Dan is, but at least he proved it. So who's next, who's next, who's next? Oh, freaking gummy bears. Come on, Gummy Bear, what you got? Take it away, buddy. Hey, Simon Dan, congrats on 25 million views. I have to say, this definitely means that black holes exist because your head has to be infinitely dense and so large to contain all of that information as well as land an airplane on your... Wait a minute, on his nose? Nine head. Oh, on his head. <laughs> Listen... Now, I've done Mr. Gummy Bear, and yeah, he's American, but he does his stupid bro Cephas thing, trying to make fun of us from down in the south, and that I don't care for. That one, so. We don't want to listen to hell. What's this? What? No. Using a flat earther to roast me. Nice angle there, Rusty. The picture at the end was funny as well, though. I'll give you credit for that. Right, Bob the Science Guy next. Let's see what he's done for the roast. Well, my ego has climbing gear, so I'll be fine. Hey, Simon Dan. This hey, look, at least he's American. It's Bob the Science Guy. Congratulations on your 25 millionth view. You know, the one thing that you've taught me is that if you're going to go, go big. Well, to help you celebrate, I thought I'd stop by and buy you a pint. I'm crossing the Thames right now. Oh, this guy's jokes are bad. Hey, that's that planter walk, dude. He, this guy's actually kind of funny. Kind of hard to understand his accent because he's down there from that fake place. What is that, Australia? What? Oh, I was just... Oh, I just fell asleep while watching a Simon Dan video. I know how you feel, man. <laughs> I fast forwarded to the other one and fast forward in through this one. That's just boring. 
So the problem with Simon Dan is he always goes for the low-hanging fruit, like flat earthers, like chemtrailers, those kinds of people. But he never actually goes for the real conspiracies, like does Simon Dan have nipple? Oh, nipples, really? I look, man. I'm behind you 100 percent on the no legs thing, but nipples, really? Of course, everybody's got nipples. Oh, look, it's that Team Septic. Hey, Simon Dan. Thanks for inviting me to be a part of your roast. When you asked me to roast you, at first I felt honored and then slightly confused. Because how can you roast someone who has no meat on his bones? <laughs> he does need to put on a couple pounds. How about having a cheeseburger? That's here. See, if I'd have been in this roast, I'd have been after his eyeballs because they're all kinds of big and buggy. Let's see, what was that? That lima bean head of his. He ain't got no legs. He's boring. I mean, there's so much stuff y'all could have went after, but y'all just. <sighs> so let's see what he's got to say to the end of this video. Then I think we'll call it quits. You lot better not ask me to roast you guys, because if you do, then I'll show you how it's done. Seriously. Oh, is he yelling at him because your roasts suck? <laughs> Maybe he actually has some redeeming qualities anyways. Let's check this out again. Idiot. Fingers. Is that all you got? Well, you lot better not ask me to roast you guys, because if you do, then I'll show you how it's done. Seriously though, thank you very much for all the help from the content creators for this one. Really, really appreciate it. I'll leave uh, links to all their channels in the description. Please check them out, they're all great. Most of all though, thank you to each and every- Yeah, don't be careful, because now you're just gonna shield a bunch of crap. Shield, shield, shield. Look, end of my video. Blah, da, blah, da, blah, da, blah, da. Blah. So, we come to end the two really boring videos, and that Rose video has so much potential. Lame. So, anyways, I'm gonna get going. I got a couple beers to drink, maybe a couple, you know, gators to wrestle or something. Maybe I'll get Tony. Hey, Tony, you wanna do something? Where the hell did Tony go? He was just. Damn. Alright, y'all. We'll catch y'all later. Hope you enjoyed my Simon Dan video. Boring, I know, but not much you can do when you're working with a weak man. Hey, I want to give a big shout out to Simon Dan for graciously giving me this opportunity to make fun of one of his videos, even though it's probably two of them. But hope you guys enjoyed the content. Um, I want to thank my two Patreons, Ian Raven and Zapostate. Um, without you guys, you know, a lot of this stuff can't happen. So if you want to become a patron of yourself and help out the channel, go to Patreon backslash and the conspiracy. Thank you guys and have a good day. Bye.